Hi, my name is Cyril and I'm a service engineer at SMA Australia. Today, we will go through the commissioning of the SMA Flexible Storage Solution for improved self-consumption and backup. Before we turn on the Sunny Island and configure the SMA Flexible Storage, let's review what equipments are required in the system. You will need an SMA Sunny Island, your choice of SMA PV inverters, a 48 volt battery bank, a Sunny Home Manager, and an SMA Energy Meter. Note that all SMA PV inverters and Sunny Island must comply with AS427.3 to follow local regulations for grid connection and disconnection. As an option, you may decide to install an automatic transfer switch box to add backup capability during grid failure. This means that without an automatic transfer switch box, the Sunny Island must disconnect during grid failure. We will comment on the automatic transfer switch box a bit later on during the video. Other necessary tools to commission the Sunny Island includes a Windows laptop with Sunny Explorer and an SMA grid guide code. First of all, check that the energy meter lights are present. The top light should be green solid indicating that it is turned on, and the middle light should be flashing to indicate that data is being received and exported. The energy meter must be connected on the customer's router or on a dedicated intermediary switch along with the Sunny Island, Sunny Home Manager and all SMA solar inverters involved. Make sure the grid utility supply is connected at the bottom of the energy meter in line with your main utility meter and that your loads are connected at the top of the energy meter. Secondly, ensure that the speed wire piggyback of the Sunny Island is plugged in and connected to the customer's router or dedicated switch to ensure good communication. I suggest you to check for the flashing orange and green light showing on the piggyback which indicate proper communication to the other end. If you have a Sunny Home Manager to monitor the plant, the solar inverter should also communicate to the rest of the system. So ensure that you plug the WebConnect module of the inverter to the network and turn off the Bluetooth connection of the Sunny Boy by turning dial C of the communication board to zero. This is to avoid communication conflict between Bluetooth and speed wire. Conversely, if you intend to use the Bluetooth connectivity, ensure you change dial C of the solar inverters and the net ID dial of the Sunny Home Manager to the same number apart from zero. If you have more than one inverter, make sure you change to anything other than zero or one. In this case, we are setting it to zero because we use speed wire connection. For older generation SMA inverters which neither have Bluetooth nor speed wire connection, you have the option to add a second energy meter in line with the AC output of all PV inverters. In that instance, you must add the second energy meter as the PV generation meter in meter three on Sunny Portal and keep the main SMA energy meter as the bidirectional meter in meter one. In that particular instance, all PV inverters are not able to be monitored individually. You will notice in this setup that an automatic transfer switch box has been built and installed. You will need to provide this automatic transfer switch box if you wish to provide battery backup to the system. This product is not commercially available by SMA, but can be built and installed according to the technical document called Planning Guidelines SMA Flexible Storage System and with Battery Backup Function, which is available on our website or in the description below. Now let's move on to the commissioning of the Sunny Island. To start the commissioning of the Sunny Island, start the Sunny Island and grab your remote control. If you have previously set up the Sunny Island, you will need to access the QCG mode by holding the remote button when the screen shows in its system and scroll down to new system. If the Sunny Island is brand new, the QCG will activate automatically. The first menu is the date, so set up the date. The second one is the time. The third one is to set whether you want to, to have it as on-grid or off-grid. The next one is, is to set which battery you wish to use with the system. You will have the option to select lithium ion batteries with BMS, which is what we're using now, or flooded lead acid, or VRLA. In this case, we'll be using lithium ion batteries. The next one is the battery capacity. This next one is to set the type of cell consumption. 
self-consumption only, backup only, or self-consumption with backup. In this case, we'll be using self-consumption and backup. The next one is the type of cluster you're using. So in this case, we'll be one phase. The next one is simply the EZA type, which uh, generally speaking is asymmetric. The next one is on which phase the Sanyan is installed, in this case, line one. And the setup is done, so press on accept. After the configuration of the Sunny Island, the SD card registration may take a minute or two. Once the QCG is finished, there are two sets of parameters you should check on before activating the Sunny Island. The first one is menu 232.01 to set the country standard, but beforehand, I need to change the operator level to expert. In addition, I must change the grid guide code of the Sunny Island so that I can change that parameter, which is under menu 270. Point zero one. After changing the grid guard code, you can now access menu 232.01 in order to change the country standard. Ensure that your Sunny Island is put on standby before making that change. Secondly, the Sunny Island has a specific set of parameters only available to on-grid storage plants. This set of parameters dictate how the Sunny Island will behave to improve self-consumption. Accessing menus 261 and 262 under export mode will give you the option to change the preset values. We will first go through 261 and comment on those parameters. Menu 261.01 indicates whether we wish to have self-consumption. This is set by default on enable unless you parameter the system as backup only in the QCG. Menu 261.02 indicates which hemisphere the system is installed. We will set this parameter to south because the system is set in Australia. Finally, menu 261.03 indicates whether you wish the Sunny Island to account for seasonal changes. If you enable this function, the Sunny Island will make automatic adjustments to allow more energy to be discharged during summer than during winter. To simplify this commissioning, I will disable this parameter so that all the settings are uniform across the whole year. You can find a full description of this parameter in the Sunny Island installation manual. If you configured your Sunny Island as a self-consumption only system, you do not need to worry about this section. However, if you configured it as backup only or as self-consumption and backup, you will need to change five important parameters in your solar inverters. For that, you will need to access the inverter parameters using Sunny Explorer either via Bluetooth connection or speed wire connectivity, depending on the inverter model. These parameters are located under equipment and device control systems in your inverter settings, so make sure you have your grid guide code to unlock them. For more information, please refer to the technical document called Planning Guidelines SME Flexible Storage System with Battery Backup Function, which outlines the schematics and material list to build your automatic transfer switch box. This document can be downloaded on our website or is referred also in the description below. I hope this tech tip has been helpful in how to commission your SMA flexible storage solution for improved self-consumption and backup. My name is Cyril. Thanks for watching.